Hi everyone, welcome back to Eat, Run, Plan, Repeat. My name is Dia, and if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you now and then. I just wanted to pop in today and do an unboxing of my new Traveler's Notebook in blue. I used to use my Traveler's Notebooks for planning, but now I just use them for journaling. I have my main journal and then I have two uh, junk journals, one for my daughter and one for my son. And right now they are sharing my camel notebook and I really kind of wanted to separate them. So uh, my husband has a few Traveler's Notebooks himself and I really love his black one and his olive one, but he uses his, so I didn't want to take them from him and I didn't want to purchase one of the same colors. So I decided, I don't know, you guys ever see something and you decide I have to have that. That's how I was with the blue traveler's notebook. I don't know what it was the second I saw it, I kind of got my heart set on it and it resembles the black one. Um, it seems to resemble the black one. Uh, so in like texture and shininess. Um, I'll show you guys later when I turn the camera around, but my camel is like fuzzy, almost suede -ish. I can't even describe it. But this one reminded me more of my original brown one and my husband's black one. So once I decided I wanted it, I obsessed until I found one. And I was looking online on Amazon and people were selling them for $80 and I was not going to pay $80. And then of course I found some on websites like Goulet Pens, but Impatient Me didn't want to wait. So I do have a local store, actually it's in La Jolla, California, and um, it's only about 20 minutes from me. And I gave them a call and they had a blue traveler's notebook in passport size and regular size. So I asked them to hold it for me and I ran down there and I got it yesterday. If you're ever in San Diego in the La Jolla area, you have got to stop by this store. It's called Warwick's and it's not just a stationary store. They do have cards, they sell filofaxes, inserts, you know, papers for filofaxes, inserts for Midori's. They have a couple different kinds of traveler's notebooks, not just the actual traveler's notebook brand. It's kind of like two stores in one because they also have a bookstore and, um, large variety of books. I usually don't end up making it over to the book section because I spend so much time over in the paper section. But if you're ever in the area, like I said, you need to check it out. They also have a huge selection of pens, fountain pens and regular pens. They have Kaweco. Unfortunately, they don't have Twisby. I really wish they would get Twisby because I would probably there go there to get them instead of ordering them online. But they do have many other brands. So uh, my husband and I, like I said, went down there and picked it up. And then while we were out there, we just went out for lunch. And I have to say, if you like Italian food, you have got to try this place out. It is called Bernini's Bistro. And my husband and I just split a pizza. They gave us some bread to start with, and it is the yummiest bread ever. And they give you olive oil, like a flavored olive oil to dip it in. And um, the pizza we got was ricotta and spinach and I loved it so much and now I'm craving it so we're actually making it for dinner tonight too. If you happen to be in the area, make a day of it. Go check out the pen shop, bookstore, pen shop, stationery store. I don't know what it is exactly. But uh, go check them out and then stop and have lunch in La Jolla. It's beautiful down there and like I said, Bernini's restaurant it has excellent service and excellent food. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around and open this up. And while I'm opening it up, I'll go ahead and show you my other traveler's notebooks as well. So sorry about the glare, but this is my new traveler's notebook and it is in blue. It says it on the back, if the glare is not killing you. It was $58.95 at Warwick's. So let's go ahead and open it up. So it comes with the normal little paper that's on here. It has a blue ribbon around the box. Oh, here's this too. And all of them come in this little pouch, which I keep. I tend to use these to carry things around in. And it has a camel color ribbon as well. I think I'm going to use this one because I've seen pictures of it with this and I really like how that looks. And be sure to 
keep that. I'm excited. <sighs> okay. You guys all know, sniff test. That smells like a well-made leather belt. So here it is. It's kind of, oh, it is gorgeous. It is so pretty. I don't know if on camera it looks black. I wish I had my husband's black one to compare it to, but he went out right now to get his hair cut and he uses his as his wallet and planner. So he took it with him, but this is the blue. It comes with a blank notebook and of course the, oh, it's stuck. What did I do? and the bookmark in one string. It's like fuzzy in here, kind of suede -ish. It reminds me of my camel actually. And then of course the back. And I think I'm gonna trade this out right now because I really like the way it looks with this one. There we go. Perfect. I love the way that looks. So here is my new Midori in blue. And let me go ahead and show it to, compared to some of my other Midoris. So these are my husband's, I'm sorry, not Midoris, uh, Traveler's Notebooks. These are my husband's. This is his olive and this is his regular brown. As you can see, he loves and uses his a lot so they're all scratched up I want to show you something so you see how like slick and shiny they kind of are I think that's mainly from the oils in his hands and using it all the time here's my brown one compared to his brown one you can tell his leaves the house I'm sorry this one's mine his leaves the house a lot more and he uses it a lot more I use mine just for journaling and it mainly stays home and here is my camel. This was my daughter's journal for a while and she had it in her room and my dog actually got a hold of it and tried to dig a hole through it. Um, and then I don't know if you can see right here, but she had it on her shelf and this part was like getting hit by the sun and the rest of it wasn't. So it's kind of two shades, but I, I don't know, I love it. But like I said, this one is more of like um, a suede plush cover almost. And I believe when my husband got his olive, it was the same way, but just from handling it and using it um, and the oiliness of his hands, and he does use Lush, so his hands tend to be more, uh, have more oil in them than mine because he leaves like streaky marks everywhere sometimes. The man is obsessed with Lush, but it makes his journals really beautiful. <laughs> so what I ended up getting this one for was to put one of the inserts in here in. This is where I'm keeping my kids' junk journals. I was finding that my journal, which is right here, I was finding that my journal was starting to get a little bit too stuffed. And when it gets too stuffed, it's hard for me to write in. And I was putting a lot of pictures in here of my kids. So I decided to make them their own junk journals and keep pictures of them in here so I'm not stuffing my daily writing journal. Here's my son's. Um, he's gonna be going to ASU, so that's kind of what I made his cover about. And here is my daughter's. So I just started hers, his is more stuffed, but what I wanted to do was take hers out. And as you can see, I had these in here with this. So I think I'll probably, here, this is just some stuff that I still need to do on my writing board. But I think what I'm gonna do is, this one is gonna be my daughter's because it was her that used to use this book. So I'm gonna keep her journal in here. 
and I just, I, I know these aren't like regular junk journals and if you'd like, I can do a flip through on them, but it's my version of a junk journal, a not so junk journal, maybe, I don't know. So let me just put that. So this is going to be my daughter's junk journal now. And this one take that out, will be my son's. forgot to put this back into my son's journal and I think I'm just gonna wrap it around the back there you go so that is it that is the unboxing of my blue traveler's notebook and I am using it to house my junk journal insert for my son. This one will be used for my daughter. If you guys want to see flip throughs of those, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for stopping by my channel and watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to put out videos every Monday. I know I've said that before, but I'm really, really focused on doing it now. Um, I've mentioned in other videos, I will have a YouTube room soon because my son is moving out and going to college and his room will just be empty. So it's gonna kind of be our guest room slash YouTube room slash photography room because I have to keep all of my photography supplies in there too. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. Otherwise they won't notify you I uploaded. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.